Good evening out of my dojo in Bavaria in Germany at the Lake Ampersee. It's a very small dojo, but uh, very good for myself to have also like training in a more confined area. What I will do here is like we start the first sessions to build up a small choreography, okay? Uh, where I always will explain uh, the different techniques which I use against multiple opponents. In this choreography, it's like uh, opponents approaching from two directions, only from here and from there. But before we go into it, we do a small warm up. As always, bring down your core and have a grounded stance. And we just twist our hips. Next one, we circle our hips, side, front, side, back. Shoulders stay straight, side, front, side, back. Big circles just to the hips. And the knees, you bend your knees and big circles with your knees. Other direction. few one hand strikes I mean you have all the techniques from the basic strikes etc in uh, more than uh, seven sessions you find it for free on YouTube it's uh, seven spoken sessions where I really cover all the basic strikes the basic uh, grip techniques etc. So if you didn't uh, watch this, you know, go back and uh, watch this series of the basic uh, walking training and then come back to this series of choreographies. Okay, we do a few one hand strikes just to warm up all the wrists. No, you're very flexible in your grip, in your hands. I will. You bring it behind here, you grip it, you get the grip, and that you have really a full grip for the strike. And a good grip that you really have a controlled strike. Okay? Through the center. Also, over the left shoulder. Right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder. Your 
basic stance, bring your core down. Strike through the center line. Over the right shoulder, alternate. Start with a choreography. The first uh, section, part one, is like a draw, like a horizontal draw cut. Remember, when you draw the sword, the first movement is that you turn the blade 90 degrees and you get a good grip above. The hilt, this knuckle here should be the highest point of this level that you have full control. That you can control the hilt with the palm of your hand. Okay, for the horizontal strike, horizontal draw cut, turn, cut. Small details, I mean, before you're here, before here is in the scabbard. The sword is still in the scabbard. With a left hand, we simulate the scabbard. We leave the left hand here as a scabbard opening. And while you draw the sword and bring the blade in the right position, completely horizontal, we have a precise horizontal cut. You put already pressure on the blade on the tip of the sword with the right hand, you put pressure, you put pressure that as soon as it leaves the scabbard, you have the snapping effect. It's already going, snapping out. Again, one, two. This is the horizontal draw cut. What we do now, we do a kneeling. Horizontal draw cut. I go down with the camera. I hope you can see this. Yes. Because what we do, we kneel. We have the sword. And our opponent is approaching from the back. Turn the sword 90 degrees. Uh, script, then what we do is like while we put all the body weight onto the left knee to have this turn that we can easily turn on the left knee. And while we turn, we start already to bring the sword out and horizontal cut. Show it again from this position, all the body weight onto the left knee and turn and cut. Back. Show it from this direction. All the body weight on the left knee. You go on both knees. Now all the body weight on the left knee and your right foot, the toes go while turning, before turning already in the direction of your cut. Direction of your cut. Direction of your cut and stride. And while you strike, you go forward with your upper body to have a cutting move into the strike, okay? I'll show you from the back. 
Expect the opponent from the back. Cut. Back. The opponent is approaching and you going cut. Cut above his knee. This is the height. This is number one. One. Again. Here. If you have the momentum of the sword, let it flow. At the same time, because at this moment, you know, imagine now you cut both opponents' legs around the knee height. It means the opponent will collapse and will fall on you, okay? What do we do after this strike? We put all the body weight on our right leg and approach to the left side. We go out of this attacking line and let the opponent collapse. We cut, go out of this opponent, the attacking line and cut again to his neck, to his back. This is number one. I'll show you from this direction. The opponent is approaching from the back. And he's coming. And cut, cut. Number one. Again from here. Number one. Okay. Again, from this side, maybe. Position. This was number one. And then you have this position. Next opponent is also approaching from the front. They're all coming with a centered strike with a showman to the head. While the sword coming to come down, we push with the side of our blade, push his sword out, and Cut into the opening. Again, after the first opponent, we have this position. Now opponent number two is approaching from the front and you directly come with a showman to our head. What we do at this moment when the sword is approaching, we step a little bit back to have this momentum. We have to catch this, his sword to deflect it. Therefore, our right hand is always connected with the center and it's a push with our hips. We go up, but in our center line, and push with our hips. We push the sword, we deflect it out of the attacking line. Again, we push the sword out of the attacking line, his sword going down. The opponent is now in reach. We step in and cut his neck.
many years. This is our position of the, the first opponent. He is coming straight to our head. He pushes sword, deflected, and steps into a diagonal cut through his neck. This line, we push his sword out and step into a diagonal cut to cut his neck. From the back, and push, cha. Again, push, cha. That's opponent number two. Now we combine the first moves from against the first opponent with a second move against the second opponent. This is what we start. We start kneeling and we have like one, two, and then the push. Three and four. Okay, we continue. After this, second opponent. We have an opponent approaching behind us. The same like him. What we do now here. He's coming down with his sword to our head. We step out of the attacking line just to the side. And while we do this, we prepare our sword. We turn the blade around for a reverse strike, thrust to his intestine. Again. We have this position. And while we step out, we prepare the sword with the left hand. With the left hand, you turn the blade away from you and grab the sword exactly the wrong direction. And there's a support, the left hand on top, while we step out. And up in your center, you stay in your center even for the back thrust and thrust into his intestines. Here. Again, we have this position. We cut the other one down and then out of the attacking line, prepare the sword, blade away, and step into this thrust through his intestines. And from this position, up here, step, shoot. Now you are the opponent who approach from the back. You want to cut my hat straight. Shoo. Again. Shoo. Shoo. This is opponent number three. We go now. Through all these three opponents again. One, two, three, four. more from the other side. Mm. 
One, two, three, four. Maybe from here. One, two, three, four. Last one for today, the fifth opponent. Means we have this position back while we step the other opponent through his belly out of his belly. Next opponent is approaching from this direction, again to our head. What we do now, we step and we leave this like reverse grip. Blade is down. We leave this reverse grip. This is how we step. And we leave this reverse grip and we push. We bring the sword also to our center line. And with our center power, Push, deflect his sword out, deflect his sword out, and turn the sword around to the right shoulder. At this moment, we also switch the grip while we turn the sword around. Here we have the normal grip for a diagonal cut down again. And this time, we cut it down and go to a defense. Very difficult to see here. Okay, position was like this. I will step, and now the opponent is approaching to here. That means he push his sword out of the attacking line and directly cutting, cutting down diagonal. Bring all the weight now on our front leg and 180 degrees to a threatening watershed defense. Again, this move, from here we push, cut, threatening defense. From this side maybe, yeah, here in this direction, we push, cut, and threatening defense. Slowly again, we push, we step halfway in this push that we have still more space to step further for the cut, to cut with the body. And when the cut is finished here, we just continue the turn and bring the sword to watershed defense. I show you from this direction. Here, here. And we push and cut and defense. So we will go through all again. One, two, three, and four, and five. On the other side. One. Two, three, four, five. It's more from a little bit different angle. See here, In this direction. Okay. 
Gentlemen is approaching. We got to shoo shoo Okay, guys, that's it for today. I mean, uh, do a little bit stretching at the end. Now you're warmed up. And uh, practice this choreography, you know, in small steps. And we will repeat it with our next session. Uh, we'll repeat all, and we will just add a few steps more. Okay? I hope you enjoyed. I always send good warrior spirit. Do your training and stay safe, guys. See you in the next one.